Gladys Vega tears up talking about her native Puerto Rico. But before grabbing a tissue, part of her army of relief volunteers are quick with a hug. Chelsea is 60 percent Latino. The Chelsea Collaborative volunteers, they know cash is the best aid relief, but many didn't have it and brought pantry items from home instead. Those items keep coming. Vega had no way to ship to the hurricane ravaged island until now. I walk down my office every morning and I have this water here and my eyes get all watery because I'm like, when am I going to get rid of this? You know, people are going hungry and I'm sitting in all this food. So I'm, now I can send it out. Big help came from Juan Carlos Morales. His siblings sent this video of his once rather affluent town near San Juan. Morales, now a Boston CFO, rallied everyone at the brand new Massachusetts United for Puerto Rico Fund and the Boston Foundation to fund shipping. We've raised close to a million dollars in one week. This is an unprecedented grassroots and government effort thanks to public support. The focus is on Puerto Rico charities feeling forgotten. So what I have done is contact the local churches. The water so appreciated, but they can't keep sending it to Puerto Rico. Think of the Boston Foundation. Even if you only have one dollar, send money. www.tbm.org forward slash Puerto Rico. In Chelsea, Rondella Richardson, WCVB, News Center 5.